Hello and welcome to the Reese Ryan Writes channel, where authors and readers connect to get the story behind the story. And sometimes I share author resources and today is one of those days. Today I am sharing a resource that I really, really love and it is called the HB90 Method Planner System created by author Sarah Cannon. And I will link to her YouTube in the um, description below. But also you'll find her on my list of cool channels to check out on my sidebar here. So, um, and I'll also link to the planner itself that I'm going to be showing you. But the reason I wanted to do this flip through <laughs> is because it is such a great system and I've discovered it when she I have went to her first class when she first established it I've had a planner since then I think I've purchased it every quarter since then I have never really used the planner confession <laughs> so and the main reason is because this system is so powerful because you spend a lot of time on the front end setting it all up laying the foundation establishing your goals then you start to populate the calendar with that information. And because I was so busy and juggling so many deadlines, I would always say, okay, I don't have time to do this right now. And so, but I'll get to it. And so the next thing I know, you know, we're a month in, now we're two months in, now there's two weeks left in the quarter and I've never really used the planner. So um, I'm going to do the walkthrough, but uh, I'm also for myself going to take the time this time to uh, go through all of the things that I'm going to show you in the planner to set that up so that it's going to be really useful and beneficial for me. So if you have ever wondered about the HB90 planner or you're intrigued about this planner that's going to help you be more productive, uh, especially as a writer or as any creative. So if you want to know more about it and you're excited about it, by all means, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. So let's get into it. I'll put a link to where you can purchase this planner on Etsy. She sells this version that is specific to each quarter because these are quarterly planners. Um, and so you can buy that or you can get the one that's undated that you can keep in perpetuity and just keep reprinting it and filling in the dates yourself. Since I'm a little lazy, <laughs> I prefer to get the dated calendar and just purchase it again every quarter. It is a digital file, therefore you have to print it yourself. And it is a lot of pages. It's a lot of pages. It's an entire quarter and you have your whole, you know, the setup part in the beginning. And then you have the monthly calendars, the weekly calendars, and then daily pages. And so you have a lot of pages here. So, um, she provides the digital files in both A5 and letter size. Personally, I don't like to fool with, I mean, A5 is cute and everything, but I don't like to fool with like trying to cut it or get special paper and try to position it just right. I don't have time for all that. So, um, I just get the regular letter size and I do buy whole bunch of paper because I don't have time to be doing all that either <laughs> so so I just get the whole bunch of paper which you can get that anywhere at Staples or online or wherever and then um, just uh, print it yourself so the print it yourself can be tricky especially if you're using like a regular inkjet printer so I did invest um, this past quarter in a laser printer which I had always wanted one anyway and this was just like the impetus to go ahead and invest in one. Um, I bought like a brother tin something for um, less than a hundred bucks. And I love it. It prints double sided. Um, and the toner thing is huge. It lasts a long time. And it's not that expensive. So I love it, love it, love it. Highly recommend it compared to what I was doing with the inkjet before. So I keep my inkjet just for like small color jobs and just for my bigger jobs and anything that's just black and white, I use this uh, Brother laser printer, which I will uh, link in the description below. So the HP90 method, um, this is probably like my third one. And as I mentioned, I just hadn't been getting the full benefits of it because I never took the time to fully set it up. So I'm always so busy and juggling lots of deadlines and stuff and so I always say I'm so busy I'll get to it later 
and then the next thing I know, we're in a new court. So um, I'm going to really set this up, including taking the time to complete the workbook because I actually did take the workshop that helps you learn how to do this. Don't get me wrong. You can get this planner and set it up without having gone through the workshop, but the workshop is extremely beneficial. And I think, I feel like I've gotten so much from it, even though I haven't been using the planner fully, I have benefited from the principles that I learned in that workshop. So the great thing about it too, is when you invest in the workshop, she lets you as an alumni, you can attend future workshops. And so I did attend, I signed up for this past one, which is now gone from being a, a weekend workshop to being a month, a week long workshop. And so, um, and it's there and you can always go back to it. So I wasn't able to participate during the week, but I'm going to go back and look at some of it. So anyway, I'm going to make sure I fill out this worksheet, uh, this workbook rather, and before I start filling this out. Because the thing that makes this system so powerful is you don't just jump in and start putting in what you're going to do. You really take the time to, and she also really talks to you about how to set it up and, and what's important. You create a vision statement, um, you know, she has you set up your vision, what your ideal day is. You do a, you know, a place, she provides a place where you can complete a vision board if you choose to. Um, she talks about decluttering your brain and gives you pages and pages to do that starting with you know what is it that you think you need to do what do you think you should be doing <laughs> and what is it that you want to do and then talking about how to prioritize your list and then how to own your time um that whole thing about owning your time and really understanding how much time you have was a very powerful lesson for me because personally i often will look and say you know i have 90 days to do something but what in reality, when you really start to assess your time and obligations, you might find that you really only have 45 days in that 90 day period to do things. So she really helps you um, in terms of all of that. Um, she gives you a place to list your ongoing tasks and um, what your ideal week is in terms of how you set up your, um, want to set up your calendar. There's a lot of goal setting stuff and there's a lot of place to brainstorm which is great because one thing that often gets me sidetracked is all these ideas that pop into my head and that distract me from doing what I need to be doing right now especially the things that are income producing um, and most important so um, but the basis of this system is really being able to identify your goals so that you're super focused um, so you set up not 52 goals, <laughs> the way I, I have often done in the past, she really tries to get you to focus on just three goals, three important goals. And for me, I'm going to do like three business related goals and then like personal goals. So setting all the goals up and what the projects are related to those goals is key to this system. And then she also gives you a place to drop things that you can put for future quarters so that you can kind of just get that off your plate and say, hey, this is something I want to do in the future. So, um, and then there are lots of inspirational quotes in here. This one says, act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. Just things like that. So there's a lot of little inspirational quotes in there, places to brainstorm projects and things like that. So all of that is what you do. And then she has like instructions on how to um, use the planner. So again, if you don't take the workshop, and you just take the planner, you can also you can still really benefit because she breaks down how to use the monthly layout, the weekly overview, the weekly spread, the daily pages, and the weekly review, which we're going to talk about a little bit. So, um, like I said, it's a quarterly planner, so here's for July. So here's your overview of what the month is like. Um, and then your reminder of what are your tasks that you're trying to achieve. And, you know, what are your, what tasks related to your projects and goals that we've already established are you going to try to work on um, in this month? And so it breaks that down. So here's your weekly uh, overview. And then each day has a page of its own, which is really nice. 
And so that's how the whole planner is set up. And then when you get to the end of the week, you have a really nice little um, set up here, which hopefully you can see. It's, um, you know, it asks you different, these different questions about your week. What am I most proud of this week? What challenges did I face? Um, what will I do next week to make it great? Those kind of questions. And so I really like that it does that. Um, that's something that I loved when I used the Passion Planner was the weekly um, check-ins of, you know, how you kind of looked at, in addition to your month and your year, it gave you like weekly check-ins to say, you know, how did this week go? What did you learn? What could you do better? And this does that. So I really like that as well. So, uh, and then, so the rest of the uh, planner is just a repeat of those pages there. You know, the um, month, the weekly spread, the uh, daily pages, and then, you know, your weekly review. So that just gives you a bit of an overview of what the HB90 planner is like. Again, I highly recommend this planner system, even though I have been horrible at using it myself because the principles are so good and, and the method is so good. So I really hope to put it into practice this time. So you guys keep me honest. <laughs> I am trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm going to set up my HB90 um, planner and I'm going to follow it um, this quarter and see how that helps me uh, to really get a handle on all these deadlines and stuff that I have. So I hope that that helps and please let me know if you have ever uh, considered trying the HB90 method or if you have tried it, what you thought of it. I'd love to hear about it in the comments below or if you have any questions about the planner, definitely drop them in the comments below. Okay, so that was the flip through of the HB90 Method Planner by author Sarah Cannon. Again, you will find her information in the description below for her YouTube channel. Just get yourself a cup of coffee and a snack or a sandwich or something and just sit down and start going through the videos because there's so many useful videos there. Again, you'll find them that either in the um, description below as well as in my sidebar of cool channels to check out so and if you want to get a planner for yourself the link to Etsy as well is going to be in the description below and for that brother printer which I really really love so thank you for spending some time with me I hope this flip through was helpful to you if so please hit the like uh, button and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell thanks a lot happy reading